Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May the peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you. My name is Faroz and I'm your brother in Deen. Today I'm going to be continuing the topic of remembrance and inshallah I'll be telling you a few ways to uh, remember Allah and uh, you can all benefit from this inshallah. So first I'm going to start with the phrase La la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah and this phrase means there is no power and no change except from Allah um, and the hadith related to this is in Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim and uh, in that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said O oh Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him should I not point you to one of the treasures of paradise I said, yes, O Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So he told me to say, La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Uh, so this tells us that it's um, one of the treasures of paradise and that it has a uh, great reward and uh, it has great virtue. And uh, the next uh, phrase I'm going to be telling you about is, La ilaha illallah. Uh, and th in this, the hadith related to this is in uh, Ibn Majah, Sunan An Nisa'i, and Jamia Al Tirmizi, uh, in which the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "The best remembrance of Allah is to say La ilaha illallah." So this tells us that we should say La ilaha illallah more than the other the other dhikr. Uh, because it's the best one, uh, as the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. And uh, um, the next one is um, Subhanallah, Walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, Wallahu Akbar. Uh, in this, the hadith related to this is uh, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, The uttering of the word Subhanallah, Glory be to Allah. Alhamdulillah, all praise to Allah, La ilaha illallah, uh, there is no God but Allah, and Allahu Akbar, uh, Allah is the greatest, is dearer to me than anything over which the sun rises. So, uh, uh, this from Sahih Muslim, and uh, this tells us that it, it's, it's a very, very um, dear, uh, dhikr to the Prophet Muhammad so it, it will have great reward uh, and the next one is uh, just subhanallah walhamdulillah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah and in this the hadith related to this is uh, in Tirmidhi and it said uh, in that the Prophet Muhammad said uh, saying Subhanallah, glory be to Allah, is half the balance, uh, and saying Alhamdulillah, uh, all praise to Allah, fills it, and there is no veil between La ilaha illallah and Allah Himself, uh, i.e., it is not even weighed in the balance, it reaches Him directly. Uh, this hadith is telling us that um, La ilaha illallah is is the best again because it reaches Allah directly um, and that subhanallah and alhamdulillah alhamdulillah um, it reach it, it it's half and half so it, may, it makes one whole and that's the weight uh, the the mizan on the uh, day of judgment uh, and uh, it's telling us that all three of these phrases are they they have great reward, um, but the La ilaha illallah has the best reward because it reaches Allah directly. And the next phrase is uh, Subhanallahi wa bihamdihi Subhanallahi al-Azim. And in this, the hadith related to this is in is in Tirmizi again, and 
uh, in this the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said a palm tree is planted is planted for the reciter uh, of subhanallah wa bihamdi subhanallah al uh, glory be to Allah and he his is the praise uh, glory be to Allah the great uh, in paradise so in short the a, a palm tree is planted for the person who recites this phrase so subhanallah wouldn't we want uh, a palm tree to be uh, planted in uh, paradise for us it, it's just it, it's the rewards are numerous and they're, they're very great uh, and the next um, phrase is just subhanallah wa bihamdi uh, and in this the hadith related to this is in uh, Sayyid Bukhari and Sahih Muslim and uh, in, in this the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said and he who utters subhanallah wa bihamdi uh, glory be to Allah and his is the praise 100 times a day his sins will be obliterated even if they are equal to the extent of the foam of the ocean uh, so again subhanallah this this is such a great phrase to read if you read it 100 times a day then uh, your sins will be forgiven obliterated like destroyed so in other words they'll be forgiven um, even if they are equal to the extent of the foam of the ocean so so we that that's like uncountable that that's how much it is and uh, that that's the last um, phrase that I have um, collected out of the hadiths hadith um, and uh, inshallah you've benefited from it so uh, just to uh, round up all the phrases the first one was la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah uh, the second one was la ilaha illallah the third one was subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar uh, the fourth one was uh, subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah the fifth one was subhanallah wa bihamdi subhanallah alazim and the uh, sixth was Subhanallah wa bihamdi. So, um, inshallah, all of you uh, should re recite these uh, dhikr. I ask Allah to help us all uh, keep these dhikr in mind and uh, keep on remembering Him with much remembrance as He commands us to in the Quran. Uh, so, until next time, uh, wassalam, bye. Oh, 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 oh.